father, but we were less than an hour removed from your performance. How do you feel? I feel amazing, man. First of all, I just want to give a thanks and shout out to all the people that came to support me. Without you guys, this company, uh, and all, all the boxers here, and, uh, you guys support us so much. And it just uh, makes me so happy that I can go in there and um, give you guys these types of performance. This is what you guys want to see, and I'm going to give you guys what you want to see. David, you told me earlier in the week that your performance tonight was going to signal the start of the David Benavides era. And boy, oh boy, did you do that. But were you surprised in what you were able to do in the fashion that you were able to do it because you really turned up the heat rather quickly against Demetrius Andre? Um, I'm not surprised. Um, I know how hard I worked in this camp. And like I've been telling everybody for a long time that the fights were winning the training camp. I didn't leave any stone on turning the training camp. I worked my ass off. and. I think it just shows. I mean, there's a lot of critics that say Boo is going to outbox me, that my defense is not good, I'm going to get hit. They said the same thing with Caleb Plant, and I continue to keep uh, shutting all the critics up. You know, you guys say I can't do something, but I go in there and I look completely different than what you guys think I'm going to look like. You know, so it's better than crit the critics to keep their mouth shut because I'm listening to everything you guys are saying. Hey, hey, hey. Put on notice. We now have questions for the champion, David Benavides. I got three WBC belts right here. I'm the best in the division. Um, if they don't, if they want to give me an opportunity now or later, I'm gonna keep winning. You know, like I said, I'm gonna be the greatest in my generation by the time I'm done. My Shout out to my sponsor, this is Alva Plus. It oh, it's great, it looks good in your hand. The best water out It there. looks good. Yeah, it looks great. It's the best water. It's in the, the best water in the world. Yeah. That's right, that's good, baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you make a conscious decision after the first two rounds to go to the body and Yo. Yeah, um, I, I wanted to start off slow. You know, I know he's trying to set me up for some traps. And, um... You know, I'm not new to this. As much as you guys try to act like, you know, I'm, I'm young and dumb. I don't know what's coming. I've been watching boxing my whole life. I've been boxing since I was three years old. I'm a professional 10 years. I've been smart. I sparred Golovkin when I was 15 years old. Kelly Pavlik, 15 years old. You know, so I know how to switch it up. I know how to, uh, I know how to, you know, handle every, every style. So, Demetrius Andre, she was great. Um, she was fast. He was trying to set me up, but, you know, the way you, you throw off the rhythm is a double jab right hand. You know, I do that the first two rounds, and then I switched up to the right hook, and that's what opened up all, with all the openings. I dropped him, and then he never recovered after that. You feel like you're in your prime, or entering your prime now? Yeah, I'm definitely entering my prime. I think just the passion I have in the sport, um, just uh, wanting to make my uh, my dad and my, my mother, you know, uh, proud of me. If Canelo fight Benavides, he be an idol. If he fight him, if he doesn't fight him, he will not be ever an idol. Now, regardless, if he win, he be the best, and if he lose, he have the balls to go with the best. So, Canelo, no run anymore. No run, baby. And, and whoever say that he that, I, I tell you what, I give you a thousand dollar now. If you tell me any other fight besides Canelo and Benavides, give me another fight that everybody won. No, also too, I just want to tell, I want to tell everybody, my whole team, I just want to thank everybody. You know, also I want to thank my wife. You know, um, my mother, my father, my brother, uh, he's always pushed me since I was a little kid. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. I'm really happy. And, uh, thank you all. For David, 
Congratulations on a wonderful right performance to tonight. Marcus Hayes, Fight Up Television. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you, in those moments where you are absorbing punches, what is it inside of you that makes you come back so adamantly and so vehemently? It's that fighting spirit. You know, that's what I learned sparring world champions when I was 14, 15 years old. If you hit me one, two shots back, I'm going to come back with five, six. That's always how it's been. Um, like I said, I have the strongest fighting spirit in the world. That's why I know I'll be anybody to put in front of you because I love this. I love getting hit and I love getting back. You know what I mean? It's just something I love really, really And lastly, and lastly for me, champ, I just wanted to ask you, what do you think that this knockout showed Canelo Alvarez tonight? Um, for Canelo and everybody else, it just showed everybody I'm not fucking around. I'm here to stay. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this question is for, for Gaiman and for Samson. Last week at the WBC convention, they declared that the winner of this fight would be the mandatory for Canelo, but Carlos Adamas has been the mandatory for over a year for Charlo that hasn't been enforced. Is there a concern on your part that even though you are the mandatory challenger now that it won't be enforced? I mean, um, I just look at the facts, you know, people want to see this fight more than Carlos Adamas and Charlo, you know, that's why that fight hasn't happened, but for me and Canelo, we have motion, you know what I mean, I've been winning the fights I'm supposed to win in fantastic fashion, he has nobody else to fight, you know what I mean, so if they want to give it to me now, later, whenever, I'm not going nowhere. They're going to get worse. By the way, uh, you are Equatorian like my wife that have been married for 50 years, and I love her so much, and half Mexican. Mm -hmm. But Canelo saying that he went out to fight the Mexican. So, about if you go next time with the Equatorian. <laughs> <with laughs> <the Victoria. laughs> but don't just... do that, let me tell you another thing. He promised that he would never fight another Mexican. This is what he said, but I know that he's working with Munguia. And we are from the same company, but it's enough is enough. Come over, Canelo, and show me how much you are. Bye. Congratulations. Obviously, you uh, scored the biggest win of your career back in March against Caleb Plant, and then tonight against arguably a better fighter. You're much more dominant. How much do you think you improved since that plant fight? I've pro improved a lot um, just because um, I just stayed working, man. Um, like I said, this is my passion. I love to do this. I always knew I was going to be here. I was going to get to this moment. and. Um, my last fight, I really realized that I finally made it to that moment, my first pay-per-view fight. And you guys liked what you guys seen, so, I mean, I just want to keep, um, I can't let none of my people down. You know, they, they support me so much that, you know, I, that's, that failure is not an option. You know what I mean? And I feel like I'm in my prime now, and I'm just going to keep getting, getting better and better. And that's him. Hola, ¿qué tal? A toda la familia Benavides y a Samson Lukovic, que celebro que quieras tanto a tu mujer porque lo hago también. Perdón que lo diga, pero sin ellos no somos nada. Eh, David, eh, creo que tenemos que estar de acuerdo con eh, Samson Lukowicz, que no hay otra pelea más importante en el boxeo que Canelo Benavides. En eso estamos de acuerdo. Pero yo te quiero rogar, porque te veo muy emotivo y seguramente recordando los sacrificios, que describas lo que puede ser el inicio de, de tu era, la era de David Benavides. Hoy destrozaste literalmente a Hugo Andrade y te ruego hagas un repaso de todo el sacrificio y no sabes un poco el español porque sabes que la raza te apoya. No, pues sí, me siento muy bien, la verdad. Pues ha trabajado muy duro para llegar a este momento. Y yo quiero hacer pelear contra Canelo, pero si no me quiere pelear, pues yo le gano a todos los, más, los, los demás. Y aquí vamos a estar, no vamos de ningún lado. Y aquí vamos a seguir ganando. Los sacrificios, por favor, te den pese. So, so, the question was uh, for David regarding his path to get here and how he feels going forward, and especially as Canelo looms in the horizon. And David said that, you know, he's going to go up against anybody. Canelo can be one option, but if Canelo doesn't want to fight against me, then I'm going to beat everybody else. That's the bottom line. Por eso te decía acerca de si consideras, por eso te decía, eh, la parte de la pregunta, que si consideras que hoy inicia la era de Benavides, y creo que hay que decirlo con todo respeto, con Canelo, sin Canelo, tienes muchas opciones. Eh, y te ha costado llegar aquí. Pues sí, pues como le dije ya, ya vamos a seguir, vamos a seguir, seguirle peleando a todos. Y no nomás es el que el Canelo aquí en esta división, hay muchos peleadores buenos aquí, pero también yo creo que me voy a subir a un 75 muy pronto y quiero ir contra um, mi voz y pues todo, ganar títulos ahí también. Muy bien, gracias. Gracias. 
it's not just about Canelo 168. It's a very talented division, a very deep division. So there are plenty of quality opponents for me to face. And you know what? I'm also thinking about going up to 175. Bibol is there, and I would like to face him too. Mike? Um, you know, the year's almost out, and you got to be on the short list now for Fighter of the Year after this performance. Nail you in your way, Devin Haney's still got to fight next month. But do you think you should, you think right now you're in the lead? Or? Um, to be honest with you, I don't really think like that. Uh, there's a lot of um, great fighters, you know, that I love to watch too. And But if you guys, you're already ranking me in Fighter of the Year, then I've already done my job. You know, I've done my job well enough. If you guys recognize that, then, you know, um, I'm just very happy to even be mentioned in that type of category. Um, there's still a lot more stuff I want to do. That's why I, I don't I don't really give myself too much credit because I know there's still a lot more work to be done, and I just want to be the best. Um, and I'm just gonna keep following that. You know, obviously it's not just about winning, but entertaining. You said uh, a couple of minutes ago that you don't mind, you like getting hit. Is that you really don't mind getting hit at all? You enjoy it. At the end of the day, bro, it's boxing. You're gonna get hit or not? You can't be scared to get hit. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's, this type of fighting style I have, it comes from my spirit. I've been, you know, this is how I've been boxing since I was three years old. You know what I mean? And I've, you know, there's so much things I had to go through to get to this level. You know, sometimes when you're little, you got to go through beatings to know how it feels. You know what I mean? But now, you know, I just feel like, um, you know, the defense is good. It's not like I was getting hit the whole fight, you know, just, you know, just, um, but you know, if you gotta gotta eat a shot here and there, you can't let it discourage you. You gotta come back and be stronger. You gotta get some type of energy after you get hit like that. If not, then the fight's not gonna go your way. Sure. Right. Pedro Guerra, you know, MTV. David, obviously, huge turnout for you and your brother tonight. During the fourth round, the crowd started chanting, Si se puede, and shortly after you scored the knockdown. For you, how did that energy feel inside the ring? It felt amazing, man. Um, that's why I want to be this type of fighter that brings these types of type of excitement to the crowd because at, at the end of the day, if you're that type of fighter, you really feed off the energy and you feel the energy. And like I said, my fans are everything to me. Um, if I, I can make somebody, some fans go crazy like that, and you know, I feel the energy, then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep giving you guys the fight, types of fights you want to see. And I really do appreciate all the love from the fans. I get, you know, it really makes me happy and it really motivates me a lot. Just two more guys. Hey, that Sí, háblanos de la estrategia, eh, David, acá. Háblanos de la estrategia. Dos rounds y parecía como que ibas a dejar al rival eh, que hiciera su pelea. Después cambiaste la, la estrategia y te fuiste a la cabeza y definiste la pelea. No, pues yo, yo quería pensar un poquito despacio porque sí sabía que el de, de Andre tenía bastante um, rapidez, se movía mucho. So no, no quería tirar de más, pero cuando le pegué, yo creo que en el, en el primer round le pegué con un hook y lo, se, se miró que se lastimó un poquito y ahí le puché el gas un poquito más y no pues salí con el noca. Well, regarding the strategy, I wanted to pace myself. I didn't want to burn myself out too fast. But once I got him in the first round with, with a good punch, I saw that he was kind of shaken up and that's when I started, you know, revving it up a lot more. And then, you know, things went from there. Last you got one more? Last question. Go ahead. No more. So, David, you just beat a two division champion, undefeated, most avoided guy. Where are you on the pound for pound right now, according to yourself? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's be Come honest. On. Real quick, David, so because you didn't have a microphone, uh, Ellie's question was where David sees himself on the pound for pound list. Go ahead, David. Like I said, I want to be humble in victory too. Um, I don't think I've done enough to make the pound for pound list, uh, but I will definitely get there. Um, but I think what what this victory shows, I mean, a lot of people say it's gonna be too much, too this, and blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? I I know how to go in there, and I know how to get the victory. I know how to find the victory. You know what I mean? And that's. I think that, you know, it lets people know I'm very dangerous. You know, it's not just one style I fight in. There's more, multiple styles I fight in. You know, and I can break fighters down. I can break boxers down. I can break uh, power punches down. It don't matter to me. And, uh, I think with this victory, I'm really um, getting very comfortable in there. You know, I'm getting very comfortable with the crowd, very comfortable with everything. And I'm you know, just going in there having a good time because at the end of the day, this is what we love to do. So. When you got a fighter like me going in there enjoying every minute and every second of that ring, you know, you're just going to get a dangerous, dangerous fighter. This is what I love to do, and I'm going to continue doing it with doing this. Last question in the back. Congratulations on a great performance. Um, you mentioned the Dimitri Bivol fight earlier. If you were to move up to 175, as no 99, you're a big guy at 168. Do you think you would stick to 175 then, or any chance you would come back down? 
depending on how you feel. I mean, I feel like once I move up to 175, I don't know, I have to see how I feel. Um, but I mean, I definitely come back down. I, the, the Dimitri Bivol fight is a great fight because I've sparred before, you know, and I'm not trying to discredit Dimitri Bivol, but I know what can be done in that fight. He's a great, great fighter, and um, these are the type of chances I want to take in my career. And um, I just want to be the best, and I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accomplish that. All right, David, before we get ready to let you go, obviously what a memorable performance here in Las Vegas, your second straight pay-per-view headlining. You get better and better. What do you want to tell the fans out there that continuously watch you as you put a bow on what was a tremendous 2023 for David Benavides? I just want to say welcome to the David Benavides era.